Dungeon World is very different from any other RPG I have mastered before or since. Some of the tools in Dungeon World help you uh, to get a new perspective on dungeon mastering and help you streamline your campaign creation process which makes the game much more easy to manage and more interesting. So, in no particular order, lessons that Dungeon World taught me about RPGs in general. In Dungeon World, if the PC fails to roll, they are rewarded with XP. So, if you let the players roll for every little thing, they level up really fast. That hammered home to me two things. First, you should only let the players roll if failure could have actual consequences, because otherwise they could just try again and again until they succeed. That is kind of tedious and pointless. And second, you should only let the PCs roll on important tasks. If the task is unimportant, you can just let them succeed and carry on. And this mindset streamlines your game, avoids unnecessary roles, unnecessary interruption of your conversation, of your story, of your play. These two lessons kind of go into the next one. If your campaign, if your game grounds to a halt because the PCs failed at one roll or several rolls, that really doesn't help and that's not great. In Dungeon World, they have mechanics so it doesn't. For example, if the characters have to go through a locked door and they fail their lock picking checks and can't find the key, you as a GM get to make a move, so you can introduce a complication that lets the game move ahead. Maybe a guard at the other side of the door has heard them tampering with it and will open it from the inside to check. Now they have to deal with the guard, maybe with the alarm, but they can proceed through the door. Or maybe if they are investigating something and they're not finding the clues, they're missing the clues you left them and they need to proceed, maybe one of the bad guys turns up because he wants to dispose of the evidence. And in trying so, he leads the characters to the evidence, to his hideout, whatever. Keep the game rolling, keep the plot rolling. Don't let your game depend on just one role. In Dungeon World, there's a concept called DM moves. Whenever the players look to you for something to happen, whenever they fail a role, you as a DM make a move. And these moves are kind of vague and wide concepts and ideas, so they're not bound to the Dungeon World game mechanics. You can use these Dungeon World moves in any system. So if you find yourself stuck and you don't really know how to progress the story, the players are asking what they could do and the players are looking for you to advance the pot, make a Dungeon World move. Dungeon World encourages you to leave blanks in your preparation, not work out everything. So you have room to improvise and adjust on the fly. And it also encourages you to ask the players for details in your story and they can add in details you have not added in yet. And I think you should try that out, even if you're not playing Dungeon World. I find it is an interesting experience. And sometimes it can make your job as a DM easier. If the players are going off the rails and are moving somewhere you are not anticipated at all, you are not prepared for, ask them 
what they are going to find, what they hope to find and work from there. And you don't necessarily have to do this directly. If you're listening to your players talking amongst each other, they will usually discuss the current situation or some theories they have about the plot as a whole. And you should take note of those chatter and maybe build it into your game. Let their wild guesses actually be right. You have to prepare less and the players who guess what you built into the game will think they guessed correctly and will feel accomplished because of that. So it's a win-win situation. The Dungeon World rules have nice simple and very focused tools for campaign creation and management and you can use those in any rule system in any setting and they will streamline your whole preparing process and keep you focused on the things that are actually important to move the story forward and not get lost in too many small details. So, I suggest you check those out and see if you can work with them. Dungeon World has a small selection of pre-generated monsters, but it has random tables and like a generator to make monsters, to make stats for monsters. And I find that much more helpful than a huge book full of monsters because monsters are only scary if the players don't know them, if they don't know the stats, don't know what they can do and how they can fight it. So what I would do before each Dungeon World session is make sure I have at least three monsters prepared my players know nothing about. And I put in there rumors they might hear, the monster can do, if the monster has some vulnerability they might find out. And that keeps the game fresh that keeps the players on their toes. And that goes not only for monsters. I like that for my world building and campaign building in general. Before I played Dungeon World I used to run a game of Symbarum and we were playing the official campaign. While it's a pretty good campaign it's kind of a rigid plot structure and I was frustrated because my players did all but follow the plot. So that was kind of hard to manage. But now I much more appreciate if I have a big book full of random tables I can roll on to get my own creative process going and help make me make up locations and characters so I can prepare my own campaign and run my own sandbox style game that fits to what my players actually want to do. In summary, you should really try out Dungeon World, even if just for one shot. You should embrace the chaos that will ensure out of character actions, player actions, of good dice rolls, of bad dice rolls, improvise the hell out of it. And I think this experience will help you become a better J master in general, whatever system you are playing. So, that's it for today. Thanks and goodbye.